Hello guys, in this video we will be learning data variables. How to set them, how to read them, and most importantly, how to make interactive user interface and exploit awesome capabilities of variables when interacting with the user. To avoid confusion, I'll explain what a variable is. So in its most basic form, a variable is a unit which stores information in a computer program. When we want to keep or manipulate some information, we need to have the data somewhere. That's where variables come in hand. Though variables are easy to understand and work with, they come in different shapes and forms. In beginner series, we will work mostly with value type variables, which are made out of simple types such as integers, floating points, characters, booleans, structs, and enums. Later on, when we'll be learning about object-oriented programming, we will learn about reference types such as classes, interfaces, arrays, and delegates. For now, just keep in mind that we will be using very simple forms of data. So ints, which are just integer numbers, chars, which are just characters, doubles, which are just real numbers with high precision, and strings, which are just simple text. With all of this, we can continue on with the tutorial. Okay, so in this tutorial, we will continue where we left off uh, the last time so now that you should be able uh, to see your own logo when you press f5 or you click this button um we can continue with uh, our uh, project so yeah uh, as you can see we still have to input a name um and if let's say we wanted to have mul multiple places that we wanted to, to indicate that name let's say uh, advanced your um, uh, money count is let's say one hundred dollars uh we can see that this information repeats and uh, it's very impractical to change it uh, every time. Imagine that a different user comes, L let's say uh, Anna or John, and we will need to change it every single time. So we have uh, a very nice mm, way to fight uh, the, this issue. It's called variables. So in general, variables are created when we need to store information. And we usually know that this information uh, could repeat. So let's say we know that we have a name uh, called Edwinus. Uh, to declare a variable, we need to first define the type the variable is. Uh, I'll, ex uh, I'll explain it very briefly, but uh, when we have a text, uh, it's called a string. So when you uh, type in string, you can type in the variable's name. In this case, I named it name. And we can assign this variable to a value. So in this case, it will be Edwinus. And uh, when we uh, when we've done it, uh, don't mind the squiggly lines. Squiggly lines just mean that uh, we haven't used this variable. It's very useful uh, when we want to clean up the code. Uh, but uh, in this case, we just uh, tell the computer that we will have a text uh, which has an alias of name. And the value of that alias is Edwinus. And now we can write anywhere in this code block, uh, the, the code block that uh, belongs to main method, uh, 
inside this uh, curly bracket. Um, we, we can just call it. Let's say we can do a right line. And we can give it a parameter. Uh, like I've mentioned in the last tutorial, we can give uh, a parameter which should be a text. Later on, I will uh, explain to you why it works with other types as well. Um, but uh, if we do this, and we need to finish the line, uh, and press F5, this will display my name, um, the one that uh, is here. So to uh, give you more practical examples of variables and the ones that we will uh, need for sure, um, we could really uh, add mm, some uh, card scoring mechanism. Uh, since we know that Blackjack has uh, two cards, we can have a first card score, second card score and as you can see I haven't declared anything uh, I mean I haven't assigned anything and when we declare a variable uh, we don't need to assign anything we can assign it later on and this will be for future sake if you want to assign a value you can do this uh, let's say 10 uh, also, uh, like I've mentioned, there are different types. If you want a normal number, um, in this case, uh, just 10, uh, anything that, that has a decimal point uh, will, will have a different type, and I will uh, show you in a second. But int means integer. So uh, only numbers uh, which have no decimal value go in here. Let's see uh, an example for what we will need to use uh, a, a decimal value uh, is money. Because money has its sense and we know that we will need to add them as well. So if we want to declare a variable that is uh, that has decimal points, we have to use either double or float. Uh, float is uh, less predictable than double. Um, it, it's j just the general information that you will need right now. I will explain them later on uh, how they are different. But floats are usually used for uh, game uh, system coordin coordination and stuff like that where it doesn't matter what goes after the decimal point uh, in a position that goes after uh, X unit or something like that. Uh, for money, we want to be precise. We want to always know what exact money amount do we have. So we can write initial money equals 100 dot zero zero. So this will be uh, <clears throat> a variable that will um, be the initial amount of money that a new player gets. Um, and uh, we know that it won't change uh, unless we decide as a developer that it should change, but the player or the user shouldn't be able to modify this. So we can write in a thing called variable modifier. So basically, uh, if we write const before the type declaration, we will make this variable a constant and it won't change, it just can't. Let's say like here we assigned that uh, first card score is 10, uh, we wouldn't be able to do the same with initial money. Let's say I will swap these two variables and if 
we see a red squiggly line. This indicates that something is really bad here. So it uh, tells us the left hand side of an assignment must be a variable property or indexer. Uh, it is a variable, but since it's const, it can change. Um, when I changed uh, the, the value, I forgot to show you the practical side and how it looks like. So um, when we assigned uh, value tension first card score, uh, I didn't uh, display it. Uh, let me show you how practically it looks like. So let's say we already have an assigned uh, alias name with Edwinus, but we can do this assign it again and uh, try to guess what will happen so yeah if you already tried it out um, it basically will override it uh, and uh, that variable will become the second variable that you declare so now we we get John so yeah, uh, that, that's another thing that we had to declare. One other thing that I would like to have is total card score. Um, the, this will indicate how much uh, in total the, the cards weight. Uh, and uh, you might be asking, why am I writing with this uh, cap? It's called camel case, like the first letter is smaller, but every other word has a, a upper uh, letter. Uh, it's a standard, it's a cultural thing, and uh, when you get used to it, you will start seeing benefits and how it can be used in practice. Anyway, I, I will go about it a lot more in intermediate course since we will have to go uh, through clean code, uh, clean code practices and uh, domain driven design and a lot more uh, very interesting subjects. Uh, but for now, uh, we can uh, just continue on. So, like I said, this is just the initial money. So, uh, we still don't have money for the player what we need to do is create another variable which could change and will change in time so this will be player money and what value it should be so uh, another thing i will show you that you can even do a variable assignment with a variable basically if i tell it that player money will be the initial money it means that I want player money to be this value uh, when we assign a variable it will look for an alias and it will convert it to the value it is so uh, we're just assigning it we're assigning the value uh, by, by just calling the alias it's it's uh, nothing different than, than that thank you for listening in part two we will create awesome stuff like user interactions dynamic values and all possible ways to display information in the console Come along and let us continue our fantastic developer journey.